Stay tuned for Airgun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Airgun Detectives. I'm JC, your host, and today we're going to take the mystery out of the Dan Wesson 715 CO2 revolvers. These are the pellet version, .177 caliber pellet version. Amazing revolvers, and I cannot wait to get to these to talk to you. But before we get to that, do me a favor if you hadn't, hit that little subscribe button down there in the corner. Really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free to subscribe. But the more subscribers I get, the better the channel looks, the more we can keep doing this. So I would appreciate that. If you want to be notified of new videos that do come out, you can hit that little bell and you'll get an email of some sort uh, letting you know I have a new video out. Other than that, that's all there is to it. Also, don't forget, I hooked you guys up those uh, moisture blocks from firearm guards, which are amazing. You throw one of those blocks in when you're storing your precious firearms and it absorbs the moisture so you don't get any rust on your guns. They're really great. Just use the promo code AIRGUN and you'll get free shipping on those. All right, let's get back to these revolvers. These are the pellet versions and these are the 715. Keep in mind, these are the 715. There was a version of a Dan Wesson and, and they still sell it. And actually, I'll review those. I have those in all the pellet and the BBs. But today, we're going to look at these. These are the higher end ones. These are the 715 version. These are in pellet. They also do make them in BB. But I didn't just bring you one. I've got the two and a half inch one here. I've got the uh, four inch and then we have the six inch. So we're going to go all over them all. If you'll notice the four inch and the two and a half inch is in a chrome finish. And this is kind of looks like a chrome, but they call they call this a steel gray. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. But we'll go over each one of these things. What do they retail for? Uh, anywhere between about 125 to 130, and then you can catch a sale. I think right now they're back ordered, so you'd have to pre-order them. But these are, are pretty amazing. But let's go over each one of them real quick. Let's get this out of the way. Let's start with the two and a half inch. We'll work our way up. Okay, two and a half inch here, just gorgeous. These things are solid metal. And I don't know, one of my earlier videos, I might have told you a story about the Dan Wesson. I had a four inch Dan Wesson. It was given to me um, by my father. It was phenomenal. It was, uh, it was a blued and it's steel, obviously. It had the vented rib um, and it had zebra wood uh, grips on it. It was amazing. Unfortunately, when I entered the police academy, I sold it so I could have, back then we had no money at all. I had to sell that in order to buy a nine millimeter Sig Sauer, which I carried at work. And, and I'm glad I did because that gun ultimately saved my life. But anyway, back, so I have a special place in my heart for the Dan Wessons. Anyway, so this is the two and a half inch barrel. They're pretty much, the guns are pretty much identical with the exception of the length of the barrel. This one they claim uh, will shoot about 344 feet per second. You know we're going to test that and find that out. Um, it comes with fully adjustable sights, which are fantastic. And if you look at these sights, I actually put um, uh, some nail polish, some orange nail polish. I like to do that on all these front blades of sights. You just get a much better uh, sight picture when you do that. But they have the genuine, um, these open just like the genuine did. Uh, you, you just push this down and the cylinder comes open. And then what you have here, and you're going to have this in all of them, is you have six pellet shells. And these pellet shells, you've probably seen these before, you just load these by pushing the pellet in the back. And the gun actually comes with, if you look at the box here, here's the box, I can show you. This gun actually comes with a speed loader. So you could actually load these up and put them in a speed loader or if you had extra shells. But uh, I found that a little unnecessary because you can actually, since these cylinders pop out nice and far, just like a regular uh, revolver, if you put the shells in here, you can actually load the pellets right into the back of the shells. But it takes a little bit of the realism away from it. So if you want to preload your shells, you can always use the speed loader and change those out. But see, these just go in here just like this, and you just take the pellets, and you can just push them in and rotate it. Just push them in, rotate it. But anyway, so these are a typical revolver. You've got your double action, and then you have your single action. It's got a very nice trigger. These are all metal. The grips on these are literally amazing. They remind you of the Pacmar grips. They're all, it's all rubber. It's really, really soft. And they thought of everything with these. When you pop this grip off, let me show you. You pop the grip off, and this is how you load your CO2. Let me get you a CO2 here. 
So you throw your CO2 in just like this, right? And what you do is in the in the handle is a little wrench. So this little wrench flips right out here, just like that. Can you see that? And you just loosen this up. You drop it in, and you can tighten up your CO2 just like that. You snug it up. Close the wrench back in, and pop this right in just like that. That's all there is to it. But I mean, that is just trick. So you don't even have to worry about having a wrench. So anyway, just so you guys can get a good look at this, this is the two and a half inch. Just give you all the different angles on this one. Yeah, there is a little safety on it right here on the back. A safety on a revolver is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. But you can put this little safety on and it'll actually keep you from engaging it. So there is a little teeny safety here. You know, it, it doesn't hurt you can store it that way. But yeah, there's a little safety right there in the back and that's the same on all of them. Okay, so there's the two and, two and a half inch. Let me show you the four inch. I, to be honest with you, I kind of favor the four inch a little bit. That's, this is my actual favorite. I just like the looks of it. And then this one has a cool little uh, Picatinny rail on the bottom. And again, these are all metal. These guns weigh over two and a half pounds a piece. I mean, you pick this up, you think it's the real thing. They're probably one of the most authentic revolvers that I've seen out there. Again, these are going to load exactly the same as I just showed you with the two and a half, but I just want you guys to get a good look at the uh, four and a half inch barrel. I mean, it's just, they actually, to me, they're like a piece of artwork. You could really display these, and I actually do display these in my office because they're just so good looking. And then we've got the six inch, which is another beauty in the steel gray. I mean, that is just, it's just gorgeous. I'm going to take a look at that one all the way around. Just beautiful. But the key is we've got to see how these things perform. Now, keep in mind, they do have fully adjustable sights, and yes, my trick with the... Uh, with the nail polish works out really good on these things for a nice sight picture. I don't know if you can see that, but it works out really good. So you want to look good sight picture. All right, so we have the six inch, we've got the four inch, and the two and a half. Fully adjustable sights. Um, they claim you're going to get <clears throat> about 90 shots out of them, and I can tell you ahead of time that's pretty close to being accurate right there. But anyway, the best part, let's go out and test these things. Now keep in mind, um, they advertise the 6-inch one, again, is shooting about 430 feet per second, the 4-inch about 410, and the 2.5, 344. And that has to do with the length of the barrels. The longer the barrel, um, the higher the velocity. But we're going to test all of these for you. They all have rifled steel, barrel, uh, uh, steel barrels, which are fantastic. And uh, so let's just go see how well they perform. Let's go have fun with this. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. Okay, so stay tuned for the next segment. Let's do a quick chrono test on our Dan Wesson. We're going to start with a two and a half inch. We're then going to do our four inch, and then we're going to do the six inch. And we'll see what the difference in velocity. I'm going to shoot five shots with each, then we'll move on to the next. I'm going to be using the H&N Sport, the match green. These are actually pretty accurate here. They're a light pellet. So you're going to see what the maximum velocity is out of these pistols. So, let's see what we got. Shot number one. 437. Shot number two. 434. Shot number three. 432. Shot number four. 439. And one more. 446. Yeah, it's creeping up a little bit. All right, that's uh, five shots in that one. Let's move on to the four inch one. Okay, now the four inch. Let's do five shots with the four inch and see how we do. Same pellets. Shot number one, 477. Shot number two, 473. Shot number three, 475. Shot number four, 476. One more. Shot number five, 467. All right. So you see what your velocity is on that one. Let's move on to the 6 inch and see how we do there. Okay, now the 6 inch. Let's shoot five shots for the 6 inch. Again, the same match green pellets. Let's see how well we do. All right, shot number one. That's an error. That happens. All right. Shot number one. 542. Shot number two. 508, shot number 3, 
520, shot number 4, 524, and one more, shot number 5, 510. So you can definitely see the longer the barrel, the more velocity on these. So you can see what the average feet per second on that one. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, so let's do a little accuracy test. And I'm going to take care of you guys. I'm not going to do accuracy test just on one. We're going to do an accuracy test on all three, the two and a half, the four, and the six inch barrel. So we'll see how well they do. Uh, we're our usual um, 32 feet, 10 meters out. I'm going to take a look at that. Anyway, uh, I want to thank Splatterburst for supplying us with these targets because they do make it much easier to identify where our shots hit. So let's go ahead and uh, shoot. Um, Let's just shoot six shots because it's a, it's a revolver, it holds six shots. I'm going to use these match green, the H&N match green, the 5.25 grain. And we're going to start out with our two and a half inch barrel, our little snub nose. Let's see how well we do. Okay, I'm just going to aim for center because I'm not really going to adjust these open sights. So let's just aim for center and see how well we do. All right. Well, there's our six shots. It moved around a little bit, but it's not, not a bad group, not a bad group. But uh, let's go to our four inch barrel and uh, we'll see how well we do with that one. Okay, now the four inch barrel. Same thing, let's just shoot six shots, aim center mass, center of the target, see where it groups. Well, not a bad group. And like I said, these have adjustable sights, so obviously I can adjust that. But like I said, we're just looking for grouping on this one. All right. Now let's go on to the next one, our six inch, and see how well that does. Okay, let's try our six inch and see how well we do here. All right, in this one we get the scope. So get a little better point of aim here. So let's see. Got everything I'm shooting is high and to the right. Well, that one moved. All right. That's it. Actually, that's not a bad group. Not a bad group either. So actually, um, they all did quite well. And uh, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's do a trigger test on our Dan Wesson. Uh, regardless of the length of barrel, whether it's two and a half, four, or six, the triggers are all the same on these. They're, they're within ounces of each other. So let's go with the double action first. See what type of pull weight we got. We got a trusty Lyman trigger gauge here. And let's see how well we do. Okay, that was 11 pounds, 14 ounces. 11 pounds, 14 ounces. So now let's try it in single action. Okay, five pounds, 6.2 ounces. Five pounds, 6.2 ounces. It's actually got a pretty nice trigger on it regardless. You might think it's a little heavy, but for a revolver, it's actually not. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, so my favorite part of the review always is the plinking. So, I know we have three different pistols, but I decided to use the six inch one and move us out to 20 yards. This should show you what the maximum distance is that these can perform at. Uh, we're still gonna use the H&N uh, Sport, the match greens. They have pretty good velocities. We do have a little wind, so no guarantees here. So I got five targets up there. Let's just see how well we do. And again, yes, we're out 20 yards. Take a look at that real quick. Okay.
Alrighty. Not bad. Not too shabby. Yeah, these uh, match greens actually work pretty good, even with a little breeze in them. But that's from 20 yards. So let's move on to the next segment and wrap this up. Okay, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. As you guys can see, these guns are a lot of fun. If you like revolvers, and I'm going to tell you right now, you cannot get a better CO2 revolver, bar none. You cannot. Um, there's a couple other ones. Uh, but as far as realistic, full cylinder, whole bit, you can't beat these. All right, so let's talk about the negatives. There are none. I have no negatives on these guns, i got to be honest with you. Um, but let's do talk about the positives. The positives are just the realistic look and feel of these guns. They are, they are just, to me, they're just off the chart. The weight, they're so realistic. The grips on these, these are the best grips I have found on any CO2 gun. I mean flat out, any CO2 gun. These are the best grips. I love the way they set up the wrench and the handle where you can load the CO2s. And you gotta remember, these guns are designed, they're, they're not designed for to be marksman type revolvers. They're not. These are for plinking. These are for shooting cans and little objects down. I mean, how was our accuracy? It was respectable. It was good. I mean, it was anywhere between a half inch and one inch um, at our 30 feet. And it's going to change with pellets. You can try some heavier pellets, some lighter pellets. I didn't have a whole lot of time to go through a lot of different pellets with these. Um, cause I've had these guns for a while. I just haven't shot them much. Um, it really did like the lightweight, the 5.25 H&N Sports, but uh, they're okay with some Meister Kuglins and a couple others. So you, could, you can play with your different pellets and uh, see how that works. I mean, so let's even talk about performance. With those 5.25 grain pellets, we, we did well. The 2.5 inch, it averaged about 446 feet per second, which is definitely respectable. The 4 inch averaged 467 feet per second. And then the 6 inch, we, it averaged over um, 500 feet per second. I think we're at 510 feet per second. So those worked really, really well. So we really did like the performance. And we did get about 90 shots. You get about 90 shots uh, per CO2. And those are pretty much usable, usable shots. A um, couple tricks on these. Uh, first of all, if you noticed, the 6-inch gun that I had here, let me show you this one. I actually mounted a scope on it. They do sell um, a scope mount that screws into the bottom of this thing, comes up on top, and it's the whole bit. And you're going to pay about 50 bucks for it. Or you simply do this. Put the glasses on. You simply use your standard 11 millimeter dovetails and they it drops right on this top um, rib here and it it's perfect for it you just snug it up it's all metal I'm gonna do this for you right here on camera but you just snug this thing up it's this simple doesn't you just get the right height ones and here you go but there you go look that's it that's all there is to it but it snugs right up on there show you from this angle here you can see that and it it absolutely is stable as can be and it doesn't cost you anything so you just put put your 11 millimeter um, dovetail type mounts right on there that's all it takes and then you know and then it's easy enough to take it on and off whether you want to shoot open sights or you want to shoot um, with the scope on it and you saw, I mean, it's, the gun's not overly accurate, but it's kind of fun to play with this gun. It, and you saw when we were plinking, I pulled this all the way out to 20 yards. And that was pretty respectable, if you think about it. So overall, yeah, these guns, I think they're, I think they're absolutely amazing. Just the feel of them. I, I told you, I got to kind of lean. I lean towards the 4-inch one, and maybe that's because I actually had the authentic 4-inch Dan Wesson. So I kind of lean towards it. But... I say get them all if you can. I mean, if you think about it, they're just they're just so much fun. They are so good looking, and I have these displayed in a case in my office just because they are that good looking. They really are. So, oh, one other trick. Don't forget, uh, 
bug your wife, get a little some or get some bright uh, nail polish, and you just put some nail polish. It's funny the, these front blades, the sights in the front, they're kind of ridged, and they hold on to the nail polish really well. So just be very patient. Just put several coats on there, and you're going to end up with a professional looking. Um, orange sight in the front and it makes all the difference in the world on the open sights you know so I have to tell you these are my favorite co2 revolvers if you're into revolvers there's no you cannot get uh, higher quality ones these things I'm telling you when you put these in your hand and you feel the weight of it the realism of them is unbelievable so how are we gonna how are we gonna rate these oh come on it's five stars all the way these got the cool factor, the realistic factor. They're fun to shoot. You get 90 shots out of them. You can't go wrong. I'm telling you again, if you like revolvers, you got to own these. And uh, I started off with the 6-inch one, and then I got the 4-inch one, then I got the 2.5-inch one, and I'm glad because it, 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 makes, it makes quite the little collection there. So once again, if you hadn't, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button down there. Again, I'm going to tell you it's absolutely free. But I want you part of the Airgun Detective family, and it really helps out the channel. So do us a favor and hit that little subscribe button. Other than that, I hope everybody is safe. You guys are getting plenty of shooting done. So with that, don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the Airgun. Until next time, take care.